Where are we, Pierre? In Malpensa Airport. Why? Because we're traveling to Oslo. When? Right now. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. We're traveling to Norway. We're going to spend three days in Oslo. Then we're taking the Bergen train, going to the fjords. We have officially made it to Oslo. Yay! It's been a long trip, longer than we expected, but here we are. We literally walked across the street to find the first place to eat because we were starving. And uh, what did we find? Norwegian pizza. It has reindeer pizza. And I have it with uh, chicken and something else that I don't remember. <laughs> but I'm starving, so. Really? Happy to see also some friends on the wine list like Ponterenza uh, uh, and many other producers from Piemonte. Bon appetit. Day one, Oslo. We just said hi to the host of our flat. They own this place, which is really beautiful. And then uh, they designed the Airbnb. Check them out. It's called Alexis Borg on Instagram. And now uh, we're going to try and ride one of those electric scooters to see the city. You ready? <laughs> we lost him. Bye bye. Oslo street food, here we come. You ready? Let's go in. I'm starving. I got one arepa. Are you happy with it? Yeah. It's too small. I might eat more. Eat mine. What is this pokey with the uh, salmon? You're not eating mine. I'm eating yours. <laughs> So first impression on Oslo after half a day here. The temperature is lower than we expected. The difference between sun and shade is 10 Two degrees. Two different seasons. Two different seasons. It's hip, vibrant as expected. I've, I've seen a lot more homeless people in the streets than I would expect. That's it for now. Lunch was delicious. Now let's go see the upper house. We had lunch and it would be very nice to have a coffee, but there are no coffee bars here. We have been walking for well, we're not, we're one hour. We're used to Italy where there's a coffee, there's a everywhere. cafe every other corner. We're so Italian, siamo italiani. So we finally found a coffee place. So we're having coffee right now. And what is it? This is a typical uh, sandwich. But what's really typical is what's inside, which is brown cheese. Go for it. I don't know if I want to try it. Why would, would I eat cheese with my coffee? Yeah, yeah, cheese and espresso is the best way to go. Um, tastes like cheese. Okay. Tastes like butter, peanut butter, and something fat. <laughs> uh, we're at the Oslo Opera House and apparently you can walk all the way up to it, see those people and let's go there. Let's go. It's not even steep. A few steps. We just stumbled upon a very nice park. We're about to go to dinner. Kara picked the restaurant. It's so uh, gonna be it? typical food from here. I hope to get to eat some reindeer again. <laughs> We're big re reindeer fans. <laughs> yeah. We don't have it, anybody. Yeah. Welcome to the half point of the vlog. Remember to like comment and subscribe if you want to support this channel and remember to check out our wine club for our selection of Barolo and Barbaresco shipped to your door Buona. live music I feel kind of weird but happy
happy because I see all these people without a mask. It seems like the world started again in some way. Consideration on bistros and the direction where all the restaurant world is going. Today we ate in a very very cool spot which is called, what's it called? Base Oslo. The food is outstanding. The wine list is amazing. The sommelier is amazing. So no frills, no bullshit. And I think this is the, this is the direction. So yeah, just a drunk consideration after an amazing meal in Oslo. So today we're going golfing. <laughs> so what what happened? We don't know how to go to bed again because Good. the train is fully booked. Might be fully booked. So first thing we need to go to the um, to the station and see if there is actually some uh, room for us on the train tomorrow because we're supposed to be in Vos tomorrow at this uh, very cool hotel and restaurant. But let's find out if we can get there. It's official. There's no trains to Vos for Sunday tomorrow. Now we're heading to the bus terminal to see if there's a bus. Otherwise, we, we might have to stay one more night in Oslo or switch the plan a little bit. Hello. So we had to stay one more night in uh, Oslo since the, the Bergen train uh, is fully booked. So we decided to come to see the city council and the fortress. We are going to take it slow today since we walked like crazy in the past two days. So we're just enjoying nature. We're now on the waterfront, which is on a day like this, absolutely gorgeous. So if you're planning to visit Oslo, make sure you keep uh, half a day for a walk here on the waterfront. Maybe rent a bike or one of these uh, electric scooters or skate. It's really, really recommended. Beautiful. We arrived in this place called Vipa, which is a food court. Chiara was too Sorry. hungry. Was too hungry. I didn't even wait for Pierre to take all the pictures for Instagram. Yeah, yeah. When, when she does that means she's super hungry. I had uh, Norwegian cod and she had... Grilled um, chicken, rice and it's kind of a not normal <laughs> menu for me. Classic, keep it lean. So we are now in the center. Crazy people. <laughs> what do you think? Did you uh, like it? Yeah, this is the Karl Johan Street, which is uh, the main artery of the, of the city. And there's a royal palace and many other buildings. Personally, uh, nothing special. Very, it's not touristy, but it's uh, so modern. Yeah. Big buildings and. So Not if, you're, style. if you're planning like a two days trip to Oslo, yes, you, you should come see the Royal Palace, but this area, I mean, don't spend more than one hour here. We stopped to the flat for a nap, and now we're heading out to dinner at this place that doesn't take any reservation. It's called Territoriet, and apparently has a very, very good wine list. We sat here and uh, Julia, who's the sommelier here, asked us what we wanted and uh, we started talking, we introduced ourselves and she said, do you have an Airbnb? And Kel said, yes. Is there a stair that goes up and there's all the little frames in the, in the room? And we were like, yes. And she was like, what? <laughs> so she stayed in our Airbnb, which is on top of our, the top floor of our house two years ago. 
and uh, we didn't meet uh, there, but she remembered the place, and as soon as, she, as soon as we said, we're from Alba, we have a wine club, we manage properties, she said, I, 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 I said at your place. So here's another place that kills it, Territoriet, thumbs up. We're right now on the ferry. And the ferry is going to take us to four different islands in the Gulf of uh, Oslo. And we can hop on, hop off. This is a great, great uh, tip. This ferry is actually free if you buy the Oslo Pass, which is the same one, the same that you use for subway or public transport. So basically, this is a free ride uh, on the water to look at Oslo from a different perspective.